what's going on guys welcome back to another new card video and i want to start this off with a couple of words for uh, not the new card but captain america right uh courageous iconic role model inspiring maybe handsome well i i found out uh, ignore these words by the way that i used to describe him in marvel snap uh, but i found out that the uh united states were the only country to have a iconic uh, symbol of a hero meet today's card red guardian this beautiful man right here and if he's even half as good as these other red cards in the game uh he's bound to be uh, pretty damn broken uh but we're gonna go ahead and talk about how good is he gonna be is he worth getting overall he lands himself in a pretty good spotlight cash but who is red guardian much like captain america the title of red guardian doesn't belong to just one person but the most infamous would be alexi shostakov i'm embarrassed how long that name took me to learn how to say now the easiest way to describe red guardian is he's the captain america like i said to russia a symbol of strength and patriotism and russia arranged originally for alexi to marry natasha romanoff uh, later known as the infamous Black Widow, and they do get married. But the KGB then fakes the death of Alexei, causing Natasha to commit even further into the Red Room antics. Everyone presumed Alexei was dead. He suits up as the Red Guardian, and his abilities consist of extensive training in hand-to-hand -hand combat and martial arts. A and my favorite being his mini Captain America shield being uh, in form of a belt buckle. So as far as I'm concerned, the dude's already two legs down from Steve Rogers, right? Like, I want you guys to imagine the Captain America we know, and he's like, Avenger, <laughs> I can't even see it. Avengers a symbol, like the kids are modeling, like a belt buckle compared to a shield. I already feel bad for the guy. Now, I don't want to spoil too much, but Alexi, it doesn't have the best fate for him. But I do have to say, if you haven't seen the MCU's Black Widow, David Harbour just nails the role. Now in Marvel Snap, of course, he's going to be better than Captain America. He's going to be a three cost three power card and he joins the cast of tech cards in the game with the unique effect of on reveal afflict the lowest power enemy card here with negative two power and you're going to remove the card's text now tech cards are kind of weird in marvel snap because most of the time you typically want like one or two in the deck more so two like shang chi is one of the few examples that can carry his own weight uh because he has that good of an effect red guardian is probably going to do a little bit better with help from some of the other sidekicks, right? Like Shadow King and maybe Rogue, Cosmo. These other cards typically are paired with one more tech card, and that's ultimately how I envision Red Guardian uh, being overall. Now, of course, he's going to be aiming for the lowest power, not the lowest cost card, and there's a couple of, like, key subjects that he can hit, key targets, if you will. Now, he can hit anything. He can hit a 100 power card if it's the only card in a lane, uh, but likely you're going to want to be playing him either on curve or to just completely nullify uh, a null. I didn't mean to do that. It just kind of happened. Now, like Jeff, the baby land shark is a great example of a card that you can just uh, cut its ability. Uh, people don't move Jeff till later. And so if you shut that off right away, you're looking pretty good. Other meta cards like Sunspot and Nebula, powerful one drops that you just hit with a red guardian. Hope Summers, you ruin that person's game plan, obviously. X-23 and Deadpool, I think red guardian's naturally going to be really strong against destroy he, he finally gives us this option to shut down hard cards that we have otherwise not had an answer for not just ongoing uh, which is his strongest suit but cards like hope summers that don't have a, a defined effect now black knight morbius dracula these are all insanely good cards on curve that he can also hit and a lot of those are either played early or in a lane uh black knight hasn't had really an answer to him and now you do Ravona and Patriot, these other ongoing cards. Zabu, if it was a couple weeks ago, not anymore. Uh, Angela, clearly, and then things like Iron Man. A lot of different card options that you can shut down. Of course, like Devil Dinosaur and Knoll and these bigger cards are also possibility, uh, but these are going to be the best targets. Now, the downside of this is if it has an on-reveal effect, you almost have no shot uh, to... You do have no shot uh, to do anything, and if there's a deck that's kind of all in on that, it's looking pretty bad. So he's going to be great against ongoing, great against these cards we haven't had an answer for, and then kind of lackluster against other things. Although he does come with a 3-5 stat line. Now, as far as the competitive tier, a bit tougher to rank. I think tech cards really need some time uh, to test and play. But in the initial testing, he seemed pretty good. I'm going to give him a 3.5 star. I want to lean towards 4. I, I really do. I'm going to be more careful. I would say 4 is probably safe. But three and a half is what I'll go with in terms of the video. Just in general, he has so much different use cases. It's tough to get it all in one day. But I, I found myself really just uh, petrifying and stopping decks 
uh, their main game plan. I was able to go up against Destroy a few times. Just felt really good to play him on curve, uh, but also have the ability to save him for late. Uh, fun factor, like a three probably. I don't think he's like, you know, the most fun card in the game, but it is satisfying, if you will, uh, to go ahead and shut down the opponent's best card. If this was a satisfying ranking, I'd give it much higher, but about a three as far as fun goes. Now, flexibility is going to be a perfect five. Uh, as most tech cards go, uh, even more so. Uh, he's more flexible than something like Super Giant. He does a great job, uh, like Shadow King, fitting into decks with ease and giving you an option on defense. Now, you're going to see that in the synergy section. He doesn't have like a lot of cards that are perfect for him uh, because he's kind of a jack of all trades. Uh, now, the chance of him being adjusted, I'm going to get like kind of right down the middle. If it's five stars, maybe two and a half. He could get buffed if they don't see him performing the way that he should, but I, I don't think that's going to be the route. It's notable to say he has two different valves of uh, control, if you will, of negative power or just increasing his base power. So he has a lot of, you know, knobs for them to mess with. In short, this is going to be one of those cards that I would say I would wait just a couple of days to see how he fares out, right? Like we've seen this with some other cards. Uh, I think Super Giant's a great example. People just like did not like her. Uh, and then the, you started to see the potential there right off the bat. Now, as far as synergy goes with him, uh, again, he's great against things. And so him pairing up with other teammates uh, isn't going to be as common. Like Sarah is always a good uh, example because of, you know, having all those tech cards for a little bit cheaper. Uh, Silver Surfer is obviously going to be his best home as far as just natural synergy. It's a three cost card. You can buff it up even more so. Uh, you can have that with Absorbing Man. That's also a synergized card with him. Kill Monger, another three cost card to kill things before you play him to get a be uh, better target. So there's a lot of kind of synergy within Surfer rather than just him being a three cost. Uh, Lady Deathstrike just got a nice little buff. Uh, I feel like she is going to be great, kind of serving the same role as Killmonger, although a bit more expensive and probably not something you're going to see a lot, you know, playing back to back. Uh, and then one I don't see a lot of people talking about is High Evo, the Abomination deck. We don't have a lot of affliction cards, and so Red Guardian is going to be able to afflict on opponents and naturally probably fit into those builds. Now, I talked about the cards he'll be good against, but I would say, like, Wong, I, I could keep going, Quinjet, uh, Mobius. We haven't had answers all the time to these cards. And so, ultimately, I think he's going to really progress well into Snap because there's going to keep on being cards released. In fact, we're seeing more and more without the ongoing or without the on-reveal text. And uh, I think he's going to be a good answer to that. Now, looking at the Spotlight Cache, if you don't have High Evo and or Lady Death Strike, I think it's a pretty easy decision here uh, because you're going to be getting High Evo uh, most likely unless you have phenomenal luck. Uh, but then you get Red Guardian as a nice little Constellation prize. So definitely something to think about if you're just collection complete. Uh, maybe I would, again, hold off just a little bit. You guys can see some of the gameplay from today. As far as the decks go, there's a number of different builds we could slot them into. I could just pick the best deck of the game and throw them in there. But I wanted to find a little bit of a synergized home. So do understand that he is a tech card. You could plug him into your favorite deck, so start there. But as for today's deck, introducing Fear the Buckle, guys. And uh, we've got a high Evo build today, but we're going with the Affliction build. Again, Red Guardian can be placed into just so many different decks, but I wanted to put him in one that you could actually utilize both uh, sets of his ability. Now, you guys have played this song and dance before, but we're kind of capitalizing on everything that makes it great. We've got the double up deck with Moon Girl, copying both Abomination that we're hoping to cheapen the cost via Hazmat, Scorpion, Red Guardian, Cyclops, Wasp. We have a lot of cards to do so. And then She-Hulk, of course. Hope Summers is in the deck, not only because she's just a busted, ridiculously good card, but also if we play into her on turn four, we can skip all of turn five and making our She-Hulk for free. I like this a little bit better than the magic play. If you don't have her, you know, go ahead and put magic in that slot. And the name of the deck is uh, just a lot of patience, right? You don't want to do too much too quickly. Red Guardian can be played on curve. He can be played also to just win a lane outright. And really, the only like weakness of the deck is things like Red Hulk and these big power cards because we don't have Shang-Chi. But you'll see that it's not too big of a problem because we have cards that can float up to get good power. We're going to be afflicting a lot of negative stats on their side. And if we double up correctly, we're pumping 18 power with a couple of abominations, maybe 20 power. You can get up to just a ridiculous last play on turn six. Now, not a whole lot to break down here. You're going to see a lot from the gameplay. This is the one I'm going to focus on. But you'll want to play Sunspot or Misty Knight on that turn one. You want to try your best to float energy when you can, obviously. I would say that's going to be a lot easier once you get past turn three, whether you go with Cyclops down or Hope Summers from that point on. Uh, a bit easier to get that energy flowing. 
Clearly, snap conditions are if you got She-Hulk or Abomination towards the left side of the deck and you're able to clone that with Moon Girl. Uh, and even better if you've got Abomination super cheap. Look out for the Mobiuses out there. Play the Red Guardian early if you need to shut him down. And you're really going to rely on him for your main tech action. Of course, you can flex out a good amount of these cards in here, guys. You know, you can go with other cards like the Thing or Spider Woman that also afflict down. Uh, you could go with Luke Cage to protect yourself from the Hazmat. Although, I find Hazmat's just a good value play if they got more cards on the board. And you're going to obviously reap way more benefits because you're going to get less negative power, but also cheapen the Abomination. Super fun deck. I don't think it's like OP by any means, but it's really strong. I, I had a crazy win rate when I was playing it myself. And this is be the main one that we jump in with. But if you guys do want to see some other builds, I wanted to avoid Silver Surfer. Uh, number one, I think that's what everyone's just going to immediately go to with this deck. I've done a lot of Patriot Surfer, but I do have uh, a couple different takes on Surfer that uh, I'll go ahead and throw at you guys. Uh, first one is going to be obviously capitalizing on Sebastian Shaw. Uh, but to highlight Red Guardian a bit more, I I'm going to bring back the Storm Juggernaut package that I feel like has been left out of Surfer for a while now. Uh, getting that lane as a free win, either by playing Storm into Brood or Storm and Juggernaut. Uh, Red Guardian is going to capitalize a lot more off of that. Uh, obviously, Sarah will be in the deck to discount the, the massive hits there. We've got Hope Summers as well. A lot of flex options here. Uh, if you want to go all in and not even focus on increasing power with, you know, Forge into Brood or Forge into Shaw, you can go with a pure control build. And, and again, I might do a full video on this because it, it's a lot of fun. Still a little bit of a work in progress. Now, the, the two costs are kind of up in the air, but I love Shadow King and I like Red Guardian kind of paired up together. Really strong duo of tech cards. You have Negasonic in there as well. The Storm Juggernaut package. Killmonger, you could play your Storm on their one cost card they played and then kill it later. You have Mobius for control. There's just like endless options for control with a little bit of power. Uh, but you don't really need the power because you have Red Guardian, Shadow King, and Negasonic alongside Goose. So a lot of different options here. Surfer, obviously, as well as High Evo are both its main homes if you're trying to go for Synergy. Uh, you know, C3, also really good if you guys want to go that route. These are the main ones I'm going to focus on. Again, I'm going to repeat it. I'll encourage you guys, play Red Guardian in the decks that you're playing in already. Maybe pair them up with one of your other favorite tech cards and you should be good to go. All right, so that covers everything, guys. The Synergy, the deck. Let's go ahead and hop in and, and test them out. Try the waters with them in the ladder so I can show you guys Red Guardian, how he performs, and you guys can ultimately decide, is he worth buying? Let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, we got Wasp Cyclops, Moon Girl, and uh, otherwise, not the best opening hand, but we can make it work. Avengers Compound, Scorpion. Making it a little better. Let's go Squirp. Uh, mid's fine. Collector. Now, this is a great, great Guardian card to hit if we can, if we can pull him. Uh, wow. Okay, well, look at that. Let's go ahead and crush this now. This is killer. I wonder if he just leaves. Typically, I would snap on this. We'll let it play out here, but we uh, we don't have priorities. So unless he plays a card there, uh, we have a good shot to shut down Collector. And even if he does, I still think we have a pretty good shot. Unless it's like an Agent 13, he plays middle and it puts Collector up to three, but we're fine. Corvus. Now he does build up the Collector. A lot happening. There we go. Put the two. So now that's just a two power card. We'd love to see it. And uh, we have Abomination down to two. Love that. Guys, I think we're going to go crazy here. We're going to hit him with Wasp, Moon Girl, Triple, two Guardians. This is just a thing of beauty. It's, oh, it's so good. Yeah, here we go. We're going to, we're going to hope we get She-Hulk and then we are we, we are really cooking because we'll just skip uh, uh, turn five here. Best part is we don't even have to be careful what we would play into Avengers Compound. We can move it on over to New York there. He plays the swarms down now. We don't even have to play anything because our abomination is dirt cheap. Let's see. Lady Sif. I like there. It doesn't matter. Collector shut down. Man, that's some value right there for, for Guardian. Wasp. Like, look at that. We got... We shut down his collector going to, to double digits. We have our abomination down to nothing. It's just... Clear for takeoff. It's beautiful. Now, here's the thing. Do we... If we play both these down now, he's probably gone. Does he have a Morbius? I... I there's no way. So, we're good to go. I think we're going to go with these two now. And then float one, shoot two, and then we save the A-bombs. 
because we can. We can play the eight bombs now. Like, that's definitely a thing we could have done, but uh, I, I think this will be more, more shocking. Ghost Rider takes down Lady Sif. Uh, I don't think he wanted that. Scar. Well, that's not bad. Mojo. All right, well, we're going to make sure we don't fill up New York or Avengers. Abomination's even more free if that was uh, uh, possible. And we have a full full send here. We're going to go crazy. Hope Summers. All right. Let's go. Uh, does he keep this? I don't know. I'm thinking we do this. This. That. Left side should win. And then we just hit him with the, with the Cyclops here, right? So we float three. That's four. We have 18. We, we hit two. He goes right side as well. We kind of abandon middle lane, which I think is ultimately fine. He's probably going to end up moving cards anyway. Uh, I suppose we could move Moon Girl instead of Cyclops, but I like the negative two. Yeah, this looks good to me. I mean, we have two massive plays going on here. We just don't know what he got in his hand, right? More if we don't care if it's any of those. We skip left lane correctly. Falling wing. We got to beat 17 power there. It's a lot of power. A bomb. Guys, this is beautiful. Oh my God. It's so great. Look at all the affliction stats. Just cool. I'm sitting there trying to like process what I'm looking at here. Victory. Double Cyclops. The A bombs. Ooh, work of art. All right, fear the buckle. He's in the hand. Red Guardian, She-Hulk, High Evo. And uh, you love to see it. He's going to cost one less. Moon Girl's going to cost one less. We got the She-Hulk. Couldn't be better, folks. Could not be better. Red Hulk's grown in power. Uh, so obviously our weakness, if you will. We've got Asgard now. We're going to go in Scorpion right off the rip. And uh, we might as well do that on Asgard. Hey, now, we know what he's playing. Do we shut that off? Oh, District X, my God. Do we, I love the Moon Girl here. Do we shut that off or do we Moon Girl then shut it off? We're going to Moon Girl first. He magics. Doesn't get rid of uh, District X, though. I'm about to juice this up. He will absolutely take that hand. Uh, let's play Red Guardian now. We don't need the, the draw that much, so I think we just hit Red Guardian now. We could gamble here. He could play a lower card, but this is going to be our play for now. Proxima Midnight, that's fine. We shut down the Cyclops. That's going to be a problem. Another magic. The magic's going to be insane for the She-Hulk hand, guys. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Do we magic again just to be safe? Probably not. That's kind of stupid. Ah, uh, do we want to she I think the full float She-Hulk is effing insane. I just don't know. If you look at that, that red Hulk, man, he's going to bite us. He's going to hurt. We don't have any floating cards, though. So maybe we, maybe we just do this right here. Then we full float. Then we play... Uh, Red Guardian. Okay, Wakanda Black Panther. Forever. We're guaranteed to have a limbo. We use our energy so Red Hulk doesn't hate us. And then we're going to full back, just full float. We've got the vision there. Okay, this is going to be, this is going to be sick, guys. What a, what an unexpected play. The, I mean, we got to beat a, a Red Hulk lane that I think is at what, 15? Okay. Never mind, I was way off. 22. All righty. So. Oh my gosh, we have so many plays. We have so many plays, guys. Uh, Red Guardian doesn't do much here. I realize I killed the location that, that went him down. That's fine, though. Um, she Hulk. I think it's just an easy dubs. She Hulk. Do we do two She Hulks? Like She Hulk, She Hulk. See, here's the thing that, like, oh, man, he could, he could just, it, there's a couple plays he could do, but this has got to do it, right? You Valkyrie, turn all these to bonus cards. He plays whatever here. 
Uh, and then we, we spread these to make sure that we win one of them. Dude, there's no way we lose this. And then we'll crave it to just add a little, little sugar on top. We have 14, 14. We can make that 16. Done and done. This is a dubs. He's only playing... Kneel before Galactus. Oh, first of all. First of all, this guy getting that from District X. Oh, my God. Right? Like, what? Second of all, the sweet justice right here. <laughs> so good. So beautiful. What a sweet, sweet play. And, uh... Victory. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. All right. So, that was good. Just, uh, you know, playing Red Guardian on curve. Getting the uh, the full skips. Don't have magic in the deck. Obviously, you could. And uh, we got the dub. God, I just want Atelian to not be in the game anymore. Like, that would be the best OTA of all time. Misty Knight, to start us off, we have Scorpion and a Hazmat, so we love the build. We also have A-Bomb. Love the new animation there. What else we got here? Atlantis. Uh, now, if this is an Annihilus deck, it's going to be a little tougher to try and uh, use Red Guardian. We're about to lose all of our cards, though. We got the Ravona down. That's going to be good to shut off if we can. Dream Dimension. There he is. Do we play him now? I think we do. Uh, the Scorpion's going to lose a little bit of its luster, but this will this will give us a nice little edge to shut down what they're trying to do. Uh, the hood. Yeah, I think I think I feel pretty confident playing him right here on curve. We're going to oh, snap. snap into this as well. Set that down. Here comes the demon plus, I don't know, like a two cost. Green Goblin. So does he not play his demon? Okay. Well, we uh, we lost a couple cards. We still have the Moon Girl, though, and that's what we're looking for. Um, we could Sunspot, Full Float, then do the Moon Girl, or the, the She-Hulk. I'm thinking we're just going to Moon Girl now because we have six cards. Uh, the Dream Dimension, we're going to want to float pretty much anyway. So let's go Moon Girl uh, left side here. I'm about to juice this up. Well, so the cool thing is we're we're not uh, this is a Galactus deck. We're not playing any cards, right? We're just chilling here. Uh, he might play a Nihilus, send this hood over, and we'll have to make up the ground a bit. But I'm not too fearful of that. That's got to be the play he's gonna go for. Yeah, I mean, I think we just full float though. I think we do nothing here. Okay, so we have a lot to pump out here. A lot to pump out. I think we're going to go She-Hulk. Uh, She-Hulk. And double these guys up. I mean, the Annihilus helps them out a bit here, but we should win this way lane. We should win this lane. Like, maybe we we do something. But, uh, yeah, this, this to me seems fine. We're going to lose five. We're having seven in the middle. 16 yeah dude, this should be this should be all all she wrote double slam don't know if he saw that coming or what get those two down here's the annihilus he does flip that but it's not going to be enough and uh, on top of that we also time in the middle so uh solid that red guardian on curve worked out shut down the ravona so victory do maybe a hobgoblin or something that they wanted to do and uh we're good to go all right we got the workshop which is killer uh because we can float sunspot but even better we can squirp on turn one we've got the moon snap. girl we're gonna just snap right into this squirp it on turn one is is a gift we got the moon girl sunspot will be our next play boom we hit four cards Okay, well, it's even better. Didn't think that was possible. Uh, Sunspot could go there now. We're going to play the Sunspot left side, though. And then, uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, pretty cake. We're just going to play Cyclops, Moon Girl, Float 5, and win. Let's hope we get the A-Bomb. Uh, because, obviously, we've got so many Scorpion cards in his hand at this point. And asking you shall receive, friends. Uh... Cyclops is beautiful at this right location, so we'll go ahead and play him there as well. And uh, this guy's going to have to start playing cards. He's got a lot of catch-up to do. This is where we could potentially just do the absolute massive crazy power play. 
Ikea, so he's surfer. Nowhere's going to hurt him pretty badly. We did get the Misty Knight. We're going to go Moon Girl now. We'll play Moon Girl in the middle. I'm about to juice this up. Root. Uh, kind of best case scenario, I'll be honest, because now Cyclops is just going to tag all those uh, several times. We don't have to worry about it too much. And I'm pretty sure we're just going to... Yeah. We're probably just going to full float here. I mean, you could make an argument for a little bit of juice here. You got the Misty Knight. We're still floating, so we can tag, go up one. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't hate that. Right? Because then we're able to uh, have both these guys down to two. If as long as he hits a couple of the right ones, but the She-Hulk, the She-Hulk's not ready. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just full float it. I'm gonna full float this bad boy. Luke Cage. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, the Luke Cage. I'll be damned. Makes our A bomb play not as cool. Um. Yeah, oh man, that's a bummer. All right, let's go She-Hulk and she hulk right and then we just have to make sure we win this middle lane because we're, we're gonna give up on this other one Twelve, twelve up this we can just ba abandon that lane altogether he might go super hard left side we have 17 there you can only play two cards there's a world he can get that up do we we do this we have 19 in the middle and he could get 12. i think we spread him i think we spread him if he goes all in left side we would lose doesn't look like he's doing so he goes barren he would pull my wasp we'll let him have it not bad but we got the dub all right guys we didn't get to do the crazy pop off but and uh, we also didn't get red guardian but that's okay we want to show games where we don't always get them and beautiful stuff able to seal it Victory. Rock on, baby. I love Baron, too. God, Baron's such a fun card. Okay, she... Oh, my God. Look at this hand. Ugh, this is great. Wasp. Monster Metropolis. We already got some affliction going on. Love to see it. Love to see it. Kiln. And, uh, yeah. All right. Well, gonna hang out. Still have nothing to do. Cable, he takes the card. But at this point, not a lot of cards I care that he takes. Really anything. Maybe Cyclops I'll be mad about. Tinker's Workshop lets us play Moon Girl early, if we so choose. Or we can just get the Hope Summers down. Oh, yeah, let's we go here and here. It might be better to play the Moon Girl early. We get these three. Then we do the Hope Summers, you know, crazy play. I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, at this point, we're cooking. Oh, no. That's bad. I mean, I guess we get... I'm about to juice this up. Two fours, but well, that was going to be insane with Limbo. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to recover. Uh, let's play down that now. And we'll play the Wasp in the middle. They keep feeding us cards. It's looking like he maybe got our Cyclops. We're getting some garbage, garbage stuff in our hand here. Um... Honestly, on curve. Let's just play that down now. And we have no reason to to not play Misty Nice. We'll get her down. Is that both Red Guardians? That's amazing. Well, that spider hand's about to get nailed with negative power. We also get an A-bomb. A little cheaper there. And then we got the sunspot. So I think we're going to go this into this just in case something happens here. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a mill deck. We're not crazy worried. We knew that was going to happen. That's literally why I played the sunspot there. We got the extra power from it as well. He's got the red hole. 
And there we go. All right, so we have a couple options. We can uh, A-bomb. That's probably where he's going to play his thing. I think this is going to be more than enough to win, guys. I think we feel pretty confident. He's going to play the red. Red Hulk, we've got uh, our Sunspot building up power. We've got the A-bomb. Cyclops will do a little negative action. We're going to win that left side, it looks like. He could have played this out really good, but... Okay. And it's the Yondu. Well, that was just uh, played out well. That just uh, worked out. We got a couple of negative. There's just so much happening with this deck. It is what's so damn cool. And uh, we get ourselves the pretty unique dubs against the mill deck that everybody Victory. loves. I would say this does pretty well against the mill deck. Uh, even with like two red guardians over there. We have so much power pushing to other cards. Sunspot can build up. Uh, things like that. So good win. H-Man 70. Good God. The She-Hulk A-Bomb on the, the hand is crazy today. We've only done, like, I want to say maybe 14, 13 games. Uh, She-Hulk A-Bomb, Wasp, Moon Girl. Hits the Wasp. It's fine. Uh, okay. We're cool with it. I guess we'll go ahead and play down Wasp now. I mean, I, yeah, I like the hand that we have. Wasp, we could have, I guess, saved Werewolf and, and used it there, but... He's got the armor. Okay, so Negasonic has a good amount of value left side and or right side. He's going to play Red Hulk mid. Maybe we can compete a little bit with that. And Eternity Range. So he's got the Pryo. He's got Black Widow. Let's go and get Widow left side to start. Kill his draw. Okay, so the Sandman action is coming out. Uh, we're going to hope he doesn't uh, doesn't have it, but maybe he does. So the double up deck's a little risky at this point. Uh, what's not risky is playing our... Our Negasonic now. You won't be able to play in the left lane with some of his cards. Yeah, I think we go with this. Opponent snapped. If he plays into here, it'll be a little tough, but he's definitely going Sandman. But it's not ongoing, so we have a couple turns to play it if we need to. He goes Vision. That's all good. A little tougher because he can now move into these lanes. So maybe the Moon Girl would have been better. We could do uh, She-Hulk A-Bomb now. We could full float. If we full float, though, and he plays Sandman, it's it's all it's all bad. I'm thinking what we do is we play the Sunspot. We float. And we just hope he doesn't play Sandman. Okay, goes Red Hulk middle. We kind of knew that was going to go on. There you go. So we know he can't play right side. We can float for the right side. He's going to have to move the vision left side, which we can play uh, the She-Hulk to counter that. Um, he could move, I guess, right side, but we can we can outbeat that with power. I just don't think he's going to have enough in the tank, guys. Um, yeah, man, I think we feel pretty good. If he moves this over here, he has nine, and he would have to play a five with low-cost cards to win. A five with low cost to win. Meanwhile, he can't play over here. I think we're fine. If he moves left, plays two low cost cards, we lose. If not, we win. Oh, snap. We're going to snap into it, see what he does. He hasn't drawn cards because he hasn't played the Widow's Bite. He could play... He could play the Widow's Bite right then play a card on top of that and win but we we are putting a respectable amount of power over there so he might go vision left big card right or vision right big card right and then we're looking uh like we could lose there but let's see what happens uh oh that's what we were afraid of although it's gonna die it's gonna die did he forget did he forget he must have forgotten no it's just that it's just he just played that's the best he had. That was it. That was the whole... Victory. That was, that was all of it. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, Negasonic coming in clutch. Shout out to her. Red Guardian. Couldn't do much that game. I think, uh, you know, I'll leave this in here to show 
uh you know not doing much against on reveals couldn't shut this down that's terrible for us armor we could have but we had no way to deal with red hulk and then you know ice ice man's ice man all right to get the party started we have isle of silence a little cyclops action scorpion hope summers if you guys haven't been watching x-men 97 uh you should start right now uh sunspot scorpion is uh most likely plays always got a scorp as soon as you can sounds a little sexual scorp away and um we have cloning bats which is a killer location for what we got going on we can cyclops but uh thinking we go uh i love the multiple sunspots here's the deal we can get this guy down to just dirt dirt cheap we know he's gonna want to play in there so we can do cyclops now we're gonna go with hope summers because we know we're gonna play into that lane a little greedy but that can help us out for uh dream dimension although i changed my mind we're gonna go with cyclops because we know he's gonna play in there we're just gonna skip it all right phoenix force deck fair enough uh misty knight we have the hazmat now we go first though i'm feeling like we throw down the cyclops i think we're gonna go cyclops here he's gonna phoenix force something probably there's the phoenix force at least we can take it down a bit it's the torch uh now luckily when he moves that it's gonna uh he's gonna go for the taskmaster play uh and you know our cyclops is gonna help take care of that he's most definitely gonna move it over here too obviously because he he wants to avoid our cyclops if he can um and because of that dude should we scope him with the red guardian is this the perfect play kind of sucks kind of sucks that uh we're doing it on a gamble but it would make sense right because we're gonna we're gonna tick them both down here it would make sense he's gonna do it here i think that's the play he might play another card that could shoot us in the foot but this could be like the ultimate play i'm just trying to think if we snap into this kind of weird we're not doing the a-bomb cloning thing do we snap and do we snap into this guys the ultimate play he's gonna move snap. that card guys he's gonna move that card to the left 100 percent. do it he did it he done did it look at this red guardian what a way to showcase it oh it's beautiful it's beautiful when it all works out together uh although this is probably another phoenix force so we're gonna have to look out for that no it's another human torch with the force so he can move that but we double hit it our a bomb goes down even more so we've shut the one down on the left side we love what we're looking at here i'm gonna go hazmat here's the thing i think we're gonna go a bomb left kind of overkill though he, he, i just think he's gonna move this right and he's gonna play another human torch so if he moves that middle we play a bomb middle we play misty here and we hope that these two can pew pew away he could just play taskmaster and, and that, that that's gonna end it but i think we're safe here he's out of here oh it's beautiful victory i mean i i can't think of a better way to uh read somebody's mind play a little red guardian action that was a cool way to do it